Welcome to episode eight forty. Dennis Washington, from polio kid to the richest billionaire in Montana. This is an outline of episode eight forty. Our two reasons we study Dennis Washington. First, he's the richest man in the state of Montana. Second, he had polio as a kid, and is a high school graduate. Was born in Spokane, Washington, in 1934. 34. You know, we, we didn't have a lot of money or anything. We were living in a poor housing project, but the family was together. That, that means so much. Survived after six months in the hospital. In those days, you know, polio was kind of like the plague. You got you got polio. It's kind of the kiss of death, you know. And I got back home. I was very weak, and, and uh, young kids can be kind of vicious, and they call you cripple, and and.、Uh, Then along came the separation of my parents, and I was not a. Shuttled between boarding school and relatives, he landed jobs in construction, and was independent by age fourteen. After high school, he went to work in Alaska. Strong experience, and、uh, when I left Alaska, I knew that I was on the road with my career as an equipment operator. He worked construction with his uncle, and then he borrowed thirty thousand dollars from Caterpillar and started his own kind of highway construction business. With three employees and one bulldozer in 1964, he was 30 years old. In construction, he branched into copper mining in 1986. This is picture of his copper mine in Butte, Montana. It's one mile wide and a third of a mile deep. In the next forty years, he would build his empire that spans Canada, Russia, and China. In transportation, heavy equipment, environmental remediation, mining, and aviation. In two thousand and seven, he spent two hundred and fifty million dollars to rebuild his yacht. A Tessie Four, at 332 feet long, it was one of the largest yachts in the world. In the collision in 2018, the two were with 15 other sport fishermen on the prowler when the collision happened. The United States Coast Guard says the 65-foot fishing boat collided with this 332-foot mega yacht, the Atessa Four, just before 7 p.m. Friday. Go immediately woke up from his nap and ran. Oh, so it looked like somebody cut it off. A gaping hole on the right side, but somehow the boat remained afloat. All the passengers were transported to the Atessa, which barely suffered a scratch. This is a selfie the Goes took moments after their rescue onto the yacht. Two people were life flighted to the hospital. At least one fisherman has been confirmed dead. Now the three secrets of his success. Time is not that way.、Mm-hmm. When things are bad, they're bad.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> it takes three times in my life. It takes about three times to get out of a bad deal. It does get in a good way. Instinct is really important、um, in business.、Yeah. How do you know when an opportunity is worth taking that risk? That's just something that's in you. I think that there's some people that have that, and, and you know, I have a certain amount of it because I've always just. I've always looked at a business deal. That could be a good advice. Is you always want to weigh out all the bad things can happen first, and just put them in a call over here. Then you go here. If you know what you're doing, know what you're doing. Then you weigh out all the good things, and you got to weigh out the good things and the bad things, and you see your pencil tell you what, what you should do. Because you can analyze stuff forever, and it's usually inaccurate after you beat something around so long. Oh, you gotta. That's why you gotta like what you're doing because you're really involved. And you'll think and think and think and think. I'm not very smart, but I think a lot. And if you think enough, and your average intelligence, and you know what you're thinking about, you'll get pretty smart eventually. You'll, you, your little brain will focus on something. Just gotta really like what you're doing. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Dennis Washington. Nine lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.